football team. Uh, weather did not affect them. We were impressed with their execution offensively. Question for Zoom now. Ron, so can you talk uh, about Collier Winters, their quarterback? And it seemed like you had to respect the pass when he rolled out, but he was very tough to tackle when he took off. He's a good player. And we knew that coming into the game. Uh, we knew he could hurt us through the air and with the speed, and uh, we did that today. Uh, we gave him some some big lanes. Uh, we didn't compress the pocket enough for him. And uh, we, didn't, we didn't make tackles when we needed to. That's what it came down to. <coughs> On offense, did you? Uh, are you surprised that both sides play a relatively uh, error-free game in what I consider pretty miserable conditions? Um, and I, uh, they played really well, um, and, and we did not. I mean, we made some errors where crucial down, crucial, uh, crucial third downs, uh, drop balls. Uh, I believe there's a couple penalties in there, and errors. I mean, uh, missed assignments. Those just can't happen. Connor, can you talk a little bit about what it was like <coughs> throwing? You did, you did a very good job throwing the ball in those conditions. Uh, well, I mean, like Coach Steven says all the time, I mean, you just can't, you, I mean, you can't control the, the weather. So uh, <coughs> we had a practice in the snow this past week. So I mean, that, that definitely helped. So uh, just, you had to put that aside. You can't control it. So. Uh, can you talk a little bit about what it was like to have a solid performance today after having some challenges and difficulties during the, the first part of the season? It must be, I know you, you wanted the victory, but it must be nice. Um, well, I mean, it's, it's definitely really nice, but I mean, the win is what we wanted. And uh, I, mean, I mean, that's that's all it really comes down to in the end. On defense, uh, they got over 500 yards again uh, overall. Um, what, it, what do you see as their strengths? The physical, uh, they got a good offensive line, and uh, they run the ball well. And you know, we knew they could hurt us through the air, and uh, we weren't able, able to stop the run today, and that, that hurt us. Um, you know, winners made some good decisions. Uh, they didn't make a whole lot of errors. We were out of place. We didn't tackle. It comes down to us. You know, that's that's a very, very good football team, but it's, it's not a good performance from Dartmouth football defense. Uh, we expect a lot more out of each other, um, out of myself. Uh, we were out of place, missed tackles, and uh, that's what it comes down to. That was it. Bronson, were you expecting better after the way the preseason scrimmage went? You know, uh, I, we were – we were more aware of, of what, we were, what we were facing. You know, we knew that we matched up physically with these guys. We had seen, um, you know, receivers and DBs had done one-on-ones. But, you know, this is a very good football team. We knew that last year after the scrimmage. You know, you can't hold on to things like that. Uh, they develop a game plan offensively. They progress. They mature. Um, and we knew they were, we were going to get their best shot today. And, uh, you know, I think we did. But, but I think it was more of a – the lack of defensive effort that uh, that hurt us today. Um, we knew that they we knew they had good personnel, knew they had good running backs, and knew that winners could throw the ball. Got big guys outside, um, but we don't we don't look back in, in the scrimmage and think you know well we matched up then so we match up now. It's not not how it works. But Bronson, you're one of the leaders of the defense. Can talk about what you need to do now to put this behind you and make sure that it's. So, you know, it's very, very frustrating. We have uh, we have a lot of seniors on our defense, and uh, you know, it comes down to them. It comes down to it comes down to the whole team. It comes down to the defense, though. We have to send these seniors off right. They've been through it all. You know, they deserve much better than this, and I absolutely believe that. And you look at the score and you think, you know, what if? Um, but this is this is a group of seniors, more importantly, that deserves to finish their career off right. And I think it's the job of our entire team, freshmen all the way up to the seniors, to rally and to win games. That's it. We have nothing to lose now. You know, we have our pride. We're going to continue to work hard, and we're going to put together some wins, and we're going to set these guys off right. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you.
Questions to Coach Stevens? Coach, it seems like Nick Schrader was forced wide more often than we're used to seeing him. Was that yeah, either their front, defense their or? Their front force is uh, tough. They're physical up front. They did a nice job. They yeah, forced us to bounce uh, repeatedly. And uh, they contained us. Our run game was in effect. How much does a 99-yard drive, they're sitting on the goal line and they go the distance when it's a 13-3 game at that point? Yeah, that hurts. That's a critical drive for them. Uh, credit to them. And they were flawless with their execution. They mixed up their play selection well. Uh, Winters is 10-13 yeah, and, and ran for over 100 yards. He was just uh, very difficult to contain. We knew that was going to be the issue. We had to keep him in the, in the pocket, and uh, we didn't do it. Coach, when you saw the weather forecast and it was going to be this rotten, um, did you think that that worked in your favor, perhaps? Well, uh, as someone had mentioned earlier, I thought both teams controlled the ball fairly effectively. Uh, with that type of uh, atmosphere out there, I thought the ball would be moving around a little bit. Uh, the running backs were very, very secure with it. The quarterback protected the football. And uh, you'd expect some turnovers. We counted on getting some turnovers and just didn't happen. Some crucial drops. I mean, we look at the weather and the fact you're freshmen, but you got to make plays. They, uh, they, I, don't, I don't recall seeing a lot of drop passes that they had. We had a number that we kept uh, drives going and we dropped. You know, can't do that with our age. You know how to catch a football. And I thought Kempy was fairly accurate, but the ball there in you know, a critical situation. Just got to come over the play. Ronson Green spoke from the heart. What Can you talk a little bit about what you heard him say and what that says about? Your team? Yeah, he's, uh, he obviously is a leader. He's a good guy, but a really good leader of our defense. Yeah, but I, I think he speaks for the group as well. You know, the seniors have been through a lot. Uh, they, they work hard. They will continue to work hard. It, there was not a lack of effort out there. I think it was, we just we get outmatched. And uh, Harvard had their A game. They were in contention for an IV title. This was a must win game for them. And they came up with uh, all guns blazing and did a nice job. Uh, <coughs> The guys will be back. They're certainly very disappointed. They're probably somewhat embarrassed. Uh, but we'll bounce back and, and start meeting tomorrow and work to the next one. Any more questions for Coach Steve? Thank you, Kevin. Thanks for coming. <laughs>